Good morning and welcome to Journey of Crafting. Today I'm going to make a planner cover uh, with no lamination using a placemat. So you can find these pretty much anywhere. This particular placemat I got from one of our favorite stores, the Dollar Tree. Um, so I actually got this because my youngest daughter really, really, really likes Dory. So I took the cover page that came with it and I'm going to line this up and I'm going to give just a smidge, like an eighth of an inch on both sides because I want this to be able to cover the entire book. I don't want it to be too small and I don't want it to be too large either. So I just gave a little bit here. And also too, if you have an arc punch, then it might punch through this mat. But if you don't, like I don't, um, then just use a whole punch. That's all I'm going to be using. Um, so you can cut this out a few different ways. You can use your scissors or you can use um, a, a this thing. I chose the scissors because I had it out, but now I have that out too. So um, the heck is that thing called? Um, I'm sure somebody is going to tell me in the comments because my mind right now just did it's just not working today, I'm telling you. It's just like, nope, not going to happen. It's like, you need to take a day off. I'm like, I just took a day off. I took a day off yesterday. But, I don't know. My, my brain just doesn't work. So anyway, like I said, all I'm going to do is cut this straight on the line that I marked. Um, and I will be right back. Uh, my youngest had to ask me a question. Um, so now I have this piece left. So, well, as you can see, this is a, a nice size cover. Voila. Um, I am going to snip the corners though, because it looks a little funny with one rounded edge and not the other. And that looks like it might be, I'm going to go with a quarter of an inch first, because if it's not, I can always make it a half an inch. Nope, it's a half an inch. <laughs> so as soon as I cut it, I knew that wasn't right. So that was the corner that the manufacturer put on there. Yeah, that looks right. All right, and so we're just gonna keep rounding the edges. No, we're not. I lied. Tuck. Okay. Um. So there's that one. Now this one is going to be a little bit different. And this technique I learned from a cool little lady called, her channel is called Coupons to Provide. She is fantastic. She's got a ton of great ideas. Love that channel. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to line the holes up. So this is gonna be your back cover. You're gonna line the holes up to where you have them on the side and then you mark your, I feel like this thing is not straight. It'd be a bad time to figure that out. But anyway, you, sorry about that guys. Um, you line this up to look about straight and you mark it. So this is your back, your back cover, but you don't mark this line here. You just take it all the way across and you keep marking it and this will make sense a little bit later in the video. So since I have my thing out, I'm going to cut this. Now, the way that you cut this with a blade or knife or, yeah, knife. I grabbed the wrong one. I have like a cup over here that's got a bunch of knives in there and one of them I used while using my hot gun the other day. And so it's still got that, like, it's still got goop on it. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, probably not. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 
and I don't really want that all over my planner. So, with scissors, honestly, I don't know if you're that person or what, but I don't really ever do very well with this blade my bob thing. So, I was just, I don't know, use my scissors. Or my trimmer. I do have a trimmer. I don't know if it'll cut this, though. I mean, it's a Fisker, so it might. I don't think. I have no idea. So, figure out which one you want to be on your back cover. So, it will look like this. Okay? And notice how you have a nice edge right here that will be able to fold over. Now, do you want this to fold over? Or do you want this to fold over? Whichever one you decide to do, that's the one that you want to... The other one is the one where you want to put the holes. So, what we're going to do is make sure this is nice and lined up and it looks there about straight. All right. And we're just going to mark our holes. So, we have a pencil here. Um, we have our template here. And... I honestly don't know if I want this guy on the back. I think I do. And then this on the front. Yeah, so I think I'm going to put him on the back. And all I'm going to do to ensure that happens is put a little mark. And I'm just using a pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and mark and punch my holes. And I will be right back. I have all the holes punched on both the front and the back. And I'm just going to put them in this little planner here. Like I said, it's just a blank planner. Um, I haven't even done anything with it, honestly. It's just, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I know what I wanna do with it, but I don't know if it's, anyway, not the point. So, um, I put this into the um, rings, and notice this flap here. So, this flap will be the closure to the binder. Now, you can close it a few different ways. So you can close it using brads. You can close it using really strong magnets. You could close it using Velcro. So um, I am going, I was going to do brads for this particular one, but I think I'm going to do Velcro, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do Velcro. Um, so let me grab that and I'll be right back. So I have got my Velcro pieces. I have four pieces. Now to show you guys, I didn't show on camera getting them in and out of the package because the package is like, just like insanely loud. Like that's just me barely touching it. So, um, I went ahead and took them out of the package. Anyway, this, pa I did want to show you the package. I bought this package. Um, I don't know, probably like six or seven months ago on Amazon, and this is how much I still have left. I mean, it just lasts forever. Um, I'm going to put it back in my drawer down here. Um, I think it was like seven or eight dollars, but again, it's like it, it lasts a long time. So all you're going to do here is you're going to put your Velcro where you want it on the underside of here. Now you want to put it on here because you just peel off one side. And if you use magnets, you can do the same thing. I would suggest putting two sets though um, because it it's going to expand. Your planner is going to expand. So you're going to need that extra wiggle room. And my husband just got home. Hi, Wayne. Hi. Um, so anyway, you just fold it over, and then you figure out where you want to position it. So you pull this off, pull the backing off, possibly, or not. Um, well, oh, there we go. I promise it's really not that difficult. Um, I think my supply is just, I'm telling you, they have a mind of their own, man. All right, so just figure out where you want to put it and push it down. That's it. Um, it looks like I probably should put a third one in there now. But when it expands, it will um, get fat. 
So all that nice extra wiggle room will be nice to have. Uh, you might want to put a third one in there um, for extra support. Um, like I said earlier in the video, the where I got this idea from, the fold flap thing, was from a lady called Coupons to Provide. Uh, she actually uses a button and thread or a button and twine. Uh, you could also do that. But yeah, definitely, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot and lets me know what you guys want to see too. Um, so yeah, definitely hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, um, definitely do that. I have lots of videos coming out on a very regular basis. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.